Hello world, I'm an Average Joe and I play games, and welcome to Destiny Deconstructed, where I break down the technical aspects of the game. And today we are going to be talking about everyone's favorite waste of time, Glimmer Farming. If you've played any Destiny for any amount of time, you have spent some time just trying to get Glimmer to upgrade your gear, to upgrade your weapons, to buy heavy ammo synthesis during that five week period when Zer didn't bring any to the tower, or just to buy stuff. I just had to grind a little bit to be able to buy some Iron Banner gear. So today what I'm going to do is I'm not going to give you a you know new Glimmer Farming locations. There's a thousand and one YouTubers that have done that. What I'm going to do is look at the ROI, the return on investment, for three of the Glimmer Farming spots that I've used in the past and talk about the number of engrams that you can get from farming the spot the number the the amount of glimmer that you get from farming the spot as well as some other ancillary things that you can get such as uh, bounty completions at the same time while you're farming the glimmer so let's get started the first spot we're going to talk about is the rocket yard uh, glimmer farming spot where you have the two spawn points for hive enemies so if you don't know where that is, rewind a little bit to the beginning of the video. I drove there on my Sparrow. You can see where it is from the spawn point in Cosmo Drone Patrol. And this spot is a relatively easy spot to farm at, even for a low-level character. The enemies are, are level 8, I think. And you can really get on a rhythm. As you can see what I'm doing here, I have the Bad Juju and the Obsidian Mind. And with those, I'm able to just kind of switch back and forth. I can recharge my super and just Nova Bomb the Knights. Now, obviously, to get Glimmer, you have to be using a, um, a Black Wax Idol. One of the downsides of using this Glimmer farming location is there are no Majors, there are no Ultras, so you do get fewer... Um, uh, a, a less amount of glimmer per enemy than you do in some of the other locations. As far as the amount of ingrams that you get from farming this location, it's an average amount, in my experience at least, and... But one of the, the good things about farming this location is the ability to complete some bounties, particularly the Eris bounties. If you have the Dark Below DLC, Knights will spawn in this location, and so you can complete a lot of the Eris bounties to hunt knights, to kill hive using swords. Those are really easy to complete in this location. As far as glimmer uh, production goes, you can get around 1500 glimmer for every 10 minutes that you farm. Now, I chose 10 minutes as my kind of baseline to compare glimmer farming locations because that's how long a Black Wax Idol will last. Of the three locations that we're going to talk about today, that this location has the least amount of glimmer per 10-minute period that you get from it. The next farming spot we're going to talk about is the farming spot after the cutscene in the Dark Beyond mission on the moon. So basically what you want to do is load this mission with an angry modifier. You can just set it for level 9 or level 20 or something like that. And then play through the mission until you get to this point here where you have the cutscene. And then as soon as the cutscene's over, pop a black wax idol and you will see a ton of hive enemies that will just pour out of the temple of Crota. You kill a bunch of enemies and then as just... Be careful, do not kill the Hollowed Knight. As long as you don't kill the Hollowed Knight, what you can do is then you can allow the enemies to take you out or switch to a rocket launcher and drop a rocket at your feet to kill yourself and then respawn. You'll respawn right at the checkpoint. All of the hive will pour out of the temple again and you can wash, rinse, repeat the process. For this particular farming spot, I recommend bringing something like the Fatebringer also running um, Void Walker for your Nova Bomb or running a Gunslinger will help you to clear out wave after wave after wave of enemy. Also, I recommend not running it on level 9 like I am right now because the Hollow Knight is so weak compared to 
you that it's really easy to accidentally, you know, get a grenade on him or a rocket on him and res reset the checkpoint. And if you do that, then you have to go back and play through the entire mission again to get the checkpoint again. And so that's the one of the annoying things about this particular farming location. It's not the the best setup, and you will accidentally do it, and you know, waste you know the five or ten minutes that it takes to get back to this particular location. One of the good things about this, though, is you can save the checkpoint. So after you're done farming, you can just exit out of the mission, and you'll have the checkpoint saved, and you can start at the cutscene again and get to farming right away. This is also a good location for bounties, particularly uh, bounties that you have to, you know, kill 100 enemies with precision shots, or you have to kill a certain number of enemies with a super, or you have to kill a certain number of enemies with a fusion rifle. All of those are good um, bounties to do at this particular location. And some of the Aeris bounties, particularly, uh, for example, the bounty, you know, kill X number of hive under a, um, a black wax, the effect of a black wax idol. Those are all good bounties to do at this location. And this is by far the best in-gram farming spot that we're going to cover today because you just kill so many enemies. There's so many hive enemies that pour out of the Temple of Crota that you will get a ton of engrams from this spot. So it is a great spot to farm uh, plasteel plating or sapphire wire or, um, you know, any class-specific, uh, you know, material that you need this is a good spot to farm that as well as far as glimmer goes for about 10 minutes of farming you'll get around 2700 maybe 2800 glimmer for about around 30 or for around 10 minutes of farming per one black wax idol the last location that we're going to cover today is the infamous exclusion zone so this uh, similar to the dark beyond mission you want to load this mission it's on mars you want to activate the uh the heroic modifier so you get a lot more majors and ultras and then with that you play through right at the beginning of the the mission there's a a spot where there's a ton of uh, cabal enemies that will drop from their little drop ships and they will all almost all of them will be majors and ultras so you can get a lot of glimmer by killing those similar to the dark beyond a glimmer farming spot do not kill the centurion so you do not lose the checkpoint if you lose the checkpoint on this one it becomes a little more annoying because you have to you know sometimes you can reset the checkpoint from the menu or you have to play through the entire mission. It's a longer mission, so it's uh, it can be somewhat annoying to lose the checkpoint. So, uh, so this is not a good spot to get engrams because you're facing cabal enemies, and cabal enemies tend to be tougher, and you tend to face less of them. They're, they're just simply not a swarming enemy. From as far as glimmer goes, this is by far the most profitable spot that we're covering today. For 10 minutes of farming, you can get. The 3300, around 3300 glimmer, and that is using um, what is it, resupply codes or whatever the uh, the glimmer farming um, consumable is for cabal enemies. Now, one of the downsides of this particular um, glimmer farming spot is, I don't know about you, but I don't get a lot of resupply codes. I have 50 plus black wax idols, and I have like five resupply codes, and I do not farm the exclusion zone very often, so I'm not using them very often. So that is something to keep in mind. You can farm this spot without using a glimmer uh, drop consumable, but it does make it more efficient. And that 3300 for 10 minutes of work that I quoted you is using a glimmer drop consumable. So you've heard all the raw data. What is my opinion on the best glimmer farming spot? To be honest with you, I really like the Dark Beyond Glimmer farming spot. Largely, even though I know it's not the uh, most effective Glimmer farming spot compared to the Exclusion Zone, mainly because I hate fighting Cabal enemies. I hate Phalanxes, I hate Legionnaires, I hate Centurions, I just hate the Cabal. They are the most annoying race to fight in the game. So I'm not going to subject myself to, you know, 
know, half an hour or an hour of glimmer farming facing the Cabal. It's just not something that I'm going to do. Whereas the Hive, I, I think it's really fun to launch Fatebringer or to Nova Bomb and just see a bunch of Thrall just explode. That's just fun to me. So when I need Glimmer, I use the Dark Beyond Glimmer Farming Spot right after the checkpoint, and, uh, and it, it works out pretty well. Well, there you guys have it. I obviously did not cover all of the Glimmer Farming locations in the game. I'm sure there's a lot more that I do not know about, but these are some of the ones that I've seen um, other YouTubers talk about. So leave a comment down in the comment section below if I missed one of your favorite Glimmer Farming spots. And hit that subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, do whatever it is you guys do. You guys know the drill, and we will see you in the next game.